Hey, Barrett's Keeper. Merry Christmas, bro. Look what I got here, a little LED light thing. It changes colors. It's on blue right now. Oh, I got a cold. And it will uh, gradually, it's starting to change now. But it goes in the hole of a, in the bottom of a candle. Here, let, let me show you. Uh, see, my sister gave me this thing. This candle's got a hole in the bottom of it. There, it's going red now. And, uh, but the battery it came with, it said it had like a 45-hour thing on it. Well, I used it up pretty quick. And, uh, really never thought of it again. And, uh, they didn't sell the thing around here. It was called Lounge Light. And I went to the website, loungelight.com, and they said, we don't ship out of uh, Austria or Switzerland. <laughs> so she bought this thing at Target when Target happened to have some of them. There, it's going green now. And uh, the battery looked nothing like this. This is a Duracell 9 volt. But you'd blow this thing up probably with a fresh Duracell. But what happened was uh, the fire alarm thing started chirping saying its battery was low. And I don't know what kind of juice is in this thing, but it will run this light here. This little LED thing. I think this is similar to what might be in your star on top of your Christmas tree. Uh, let me uh, set it down here. I'll put it in the candle the way it's supposed to be. There. Uh, this camera's not showing this up well at all. The color's supposed to be in the middle. Huh. Well, anyway, it goes from all, really a big spectrum. Red, pink, purple, blue. Well, well I'll be damned, this uh, digital camera don't know how to read this LED light. It must be incompatible with the capture on this camera. This is blue, but it's not showing up on the camera. I'll be interested when I process this if it shows up. That's blue right now. Well, that's ridiculous. Now it's getting a real deep blue. I think it's showing blue up here and here, though, for y'all. Uh, oops, I'm about to run out on this clip. Okay, it went from the blue to sort of this, a uh, purple, and now it's like this now. Kind of red. See that? Oh, it's real brilliant red right in here, but this camera right now, for my eye, through the LED screen, it's not showing it. Or the liquid quartz screen or whatever. Now it's kind of orange. It just kind of sneaks up on you. Well, now there comes a yellow. And it's starting to flicker a little bit. It's not really supposed to do that, but... See, I put a 9 volt on there, and I don't know if I'm getting like a 3.2 or 7. Now it's going green. It's going green, but it's flickering, and this camera don't know how to capture it. And uh, this is a real wax candle, but you don't light it. It's solid from here to like here, but there's a a little compartment in there. You just set the candle on top of this little deal. It's green now. Oh, little child of Bethlehem. Watching a candle change colors, I tell you what, too much free time on my hands if I, t if you tell me, uh, you know. Okay, it stayed kind of green for a while. I wish it would do. But it looks blue through this viewfinder screen. Okay, now it's a, a light green to my eye through this screen it's looking kind of blue I'm wanting to do that orange and red again 
but I'm coming up on the end of a clip uh, da, da, da. Hark the herald angels sing out blue blue real deep blue it's been that blue and it's going going over the purple now uh, purple now it's getting kind of pinky oh now it's oh it's deep pink I mean that's super now it's fuchsia now red sometimes it up will start switching colors pretty quick it's pretty red right now And for those of you who walked in in the middle of the video, oh, there's orange. That's what I, orange, and it went to yellow pretty quick. This is what is causing this. Ooh, the capture on this camera, it freaks it out. That little thing there. That little cap, it just, it doesn't even want to pop on there. One side's popped on the 9-volt battery, and the other side's just touching it. But it's a good enough contact. I think I might give this to my little sister. She's nuts about candles. But then maybe she's just nuts about being a fire bug and an LED candle won't suit her probably. But don't, apparently the only way to burn this now because I can't get hold of the 4.2 volt battery is like I said, wait for a 9 volt transistor battery to a uh, get low huh. I turned it off and I started a new clip I mean that whole time now okay we're getting a shift they're headed into the pink now here's the fuchsia now going red going bright red Hurry up, go to the orange. There it is, orange. Orange and real quick into yellow. And it's starting to flicker on the yellow. And already the yellow is turning into a green. A green that's really flickering. Gotta hope this thing don't blow up. I've got it right in front of my computer screen. <laughs> In fact, maybe I should turn that computer screen off. I should have did that for the whole... Ah, oh, damn it. See, the whole video would have been more good. That was making too much light. But it's green. <coughs> this is much more fun than a regular candle like that, you know. Ah, I'm starting to get a bad cold. Green... Oh, come on. It, it wants to stick on that green for a long time. Come on. I want to see some blue. Had enough of you, green. Green. Okay, going into a lighter green. We'll be heading in the blue here pretty soon. Yeah. Okay. You see that? It just kind of eases on in. How this thing does it, I don't know. It looks, just looks like a little plastic thing with two contacts on it. The contacts were configured to go on that battery it came with. It won't clip on both of the poles on a 9 volt. And now we're getting that real deep blue. Kind of a purple and a blue. Well, okay, that's it, you know. But, uh, and this is not a commercial for Duracell, but it works. It works. That little thing, there's a little pancake and a light, and there's, there's a little reset. A little reset thing on it, too. Okay, maybe.